when the sea state starts to get a bit bigger. What are, what are we looking for then? I mean, are we are we still pressing on? I I think the boat will take it, but uh, it's obvious that if it's banging and bumping around, people will be getting uncomfortable below. And we're not racing. Uh, do something about it. Uh, in ex in extremis, I think it would probably be best if, if you're trying to make a course up to windward, probably to start motor sailing, shorten the sail right down, point up well high and, and motor sail. That way you can control the speed a bit too and if, it start, if it's still too bumpy you can flatten off, you know, take some revs off the engine and, and just do whatever's comfortable. I suppose the problem is if you, if you bear off a little bit and go faster then you've got uh, another, another I think problem. so. Oh yeah, that's right. And also, if you're, I'm assuming you have to, you're trying to get upwind, so I think in those cases motor sailing would be a good thing to do. You know? Given that cats are that much more stable than monohulls, how, how do you know when you should be reefing? I think on the wind, uh, with a cruising boat like this, you'll feel that actually uh, the sails no longer look good, you can't, you run out of power, and um, uh, so that's almost the, easy, the easiest time to tell when you're overpressed. And your boat, the boat will definitely sail better and faster uh, if the sail is reduced to the point where you can sheet things properly. Off the wind, not so easy because uh, the sails are not so flat anyway and the winches aren't being overworked. But uh, generally, I think if, you want, if you're getting over pushed, particularly if there's a seaway, you might, might begin to see bits of spray off the lower bow and things. And uh, probably the general posture of the boat, maybe the difficulty of steering and things, will be telling you that you're, you're overcooking it a bit. Yeah. The difficulty is off the wind is that you know that if you're going to reef, you've got to stop and turn around. And nobody really likes to do that, so they put it off. And that, that is a bit of a pitfall. I mean, in, st in fairly stable weather, it's not necessarily a dangerous thing. But going back to this thing we discussed quite a lot, which is the day, the only time you're getting in, in real danger is the vicious squall. And uh, so, again, the rule is say, yeah, let's shorten the sail and do it now and do what we should, we've uh, proven works pretty well. And then back on your way again and more relaxed, you know. So. And it's quite um, common on many boats to actually end up sailing with sailing faster with actually less sail than you would have thought. Is that yeah. the same? Certainly on the wind, yeah. I, I think uh, things like helm bouncing better uh, and uh, sails shaped better because obviously on a cruising boat you haven't got racing sails and um, the power isn't there and you soon see the difference. Yeah. In a situation where you're conscious of the breeze coming up and there's potential for it to get quite windy, is there a sort of, a really sort of the safest option of all that will give you the most options? Yeah, I definitely uh, taking the mainsail down. Uh, right. It's got obviously lots going for it. First of all, we can't spill wind from the mainsail downwind, so that's that can be a little scary, particularly as we've spoken about very heavy squalls. That actually is an actual danger zone. But certainly for comfort and ease of handling, just take it down, go downwind on the headsail. The other nice thing is that the headsail's pulling the boat along where the mainsail is pushing it along and the steering is a lot easier if the drive is coming from the front of the boat. It's actually being towed downwind, you know, which is nice. If we found ourselves in a situation where we were going downwind and the breeze had built up to the point that we couldn't reef but we knew we needed to, mm. I presume we'd, the only way to get the main down is to spin up into the breeze. Absolutely, as, and as quickly as possible I think. A short, short uh, time it takes, the, the less time the mainsail is pulling hard, we want to get right up and kill, empty the wind from it. So, uh, so to do that, first of all we start the engine. I'm doing starting the leeward engine so as we come up the leeward engine will be stopping or falling off again. Now we need to flake the um, mainsail down, uh, the main halyard down so we know it's absolutely free to run. And then uh, we're going to uh, roll up the headsail, probably about half or two thirds of it up. And why, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to pull the headsail up? Well, we don't want too much power from it, the risk of it clogging and so on, so that's fine, that's, I think that's enough. Lovely. Will, will that help us when we're up, heading up? Yes, the yeah, we probably should 
have that reasonably hard sheeted, so we just take a little bit on there. That's it, and now we're free to come up. Okay. And then we've got to bang this halyard off, making sure we don't get caught in the fall of it. We want it to come down quite quickly. I think that's about it there, really, now. Pretty good. How much is left? Then? down to pretty much most of it down. To okay, me. so they're away now. Now, now we can, uh, when we start to move again, we can unroll the uh, headsail again. So I guess the advantage in, I see, you drop the entire main down. But I guess the advantage of that is that now we're just down to the headset, yeah, so we I'm, can just concentrate yes, on I mean, the sail area we want there. The conditions today are obviously fairly benign, but um, I'm assuming that we're in almost an emergency situation, but we've got to get that sail off. We can see a big black line score coming up and we want it down. That's really what we're doing. And now we're down to a safe mode again, because we've only got sail in the for forward side of the mast. And if whatever, whenever wind comes along, we can always uh, empty that sail if we want to. So it's kind of a safe mode. And the whole operation has taken us just a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. But I guess the key to it really was in the planning and the preparation. And you cannot afford to have a situation where something gets jammed or no. doesn't run properly. That's right. And anticipation of the need to do it is paramount to the whole thing.